Hello everyone, welcome to Life, Love and the Pursuit of Real Estate. My name is Michael Biviano. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscription is free. Um, and uh, I want to start off by thanking everybody again for all, all the great comments that we've had on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Um, and uh, if you've got topics that you would like us to cover or you think that we may be able to uh, uh, diversify a bit further, please let us know. John and I are always ready for a bit of feedback. So uh, again, thank you. I'd like to talk today about uh, trigger points, and this will be fairly short and sharp, but I'm trying to have a look at some of my characteristics and some of my approaches in business because I'm in a couple of different uh, self-development groups, and it's interesting to see people that really gain some momentum in their lives and some of the ones that don't. And what I've found is, is that there seems to be trigger points that people have that either make them or break them. And one of the things that, on, upon reflection with myself, was something that happened to me when I was 16 years of age, when I was going to a, uh, a Catholic boys' college, and uh, one of the uh, priests came up to me and said uh, that I wasn't academically inclined uh, and that I'd probably even struggle to be a blue-collar worker. And I remember at the time having the shits with that, and I thought to myself, okay, I'm leaving. So what I did is I actually because my parents were um, uh, of uh, Italian origin and not all that well versed with the education system, I actually went and re-enrolled myself in another school to finish off my last year of secondary education. And I can remember at that point that that was a very important, significant trigger point for me because it was actually the first time that I got off my ass and did something purely for myself that wasn't done for me. You know, I had to go re-enroll, had to do all the ID checks, had to mix with a whole range of different people that I'd never met before and I'd been at the one school for a long time. So that one thing completely changed my focus and my outlook. And it wasn't because I was pissed off or whatever, but I just thought that I was, I was better than what I was told I was and that I needed to be in a different environment. And sometimes we need to do that. And that's... What I'll leave you with in this chat is, is that sometimes you need to take yourself out of where you are. And I have a, I have a saying that probably a lot of you do know, and that says that if you want to change your mindset, get some better friends. And that's basically, you know, in, in some form, sort of what I did, even though the colleagues at that particular school were great guys, the reality of it is, is that the teaching staff there, some were great and some weren't so great. So I took myself out of that environment. And the other thing that that happened that made me it's made me think about that a little bit more, is in today's society, the way that I was spoken to at the time, if, if a teacher speaks to somebody like that today, the political correctness stuff comes in and, you know, people go and go crook at the school and go crook at the teachers and say, oh, no, my Johnny's better than that. But sometimes getting a kick in the ass is actually a good thing. So inadvertently that teacher that spoke to me had done me a favour. But that might not work with everybody. But what I say to you and leave you with this point is that with trigger points, they are opportunities. When someone's having a go at you, there is an opportunity in that. So the question remains, what is the learning when you have an encounter like that? And what can you do to enhance or further your growth as an individual? Thanks for listening.